What's going on bro chachos? It's your boy Tanner Wyman a Barbarian by Today I've got a few five super crazy effective chest exercises that you guys can do without a bench. Let's get straight into it. All right, so the first exercise we got here, this is called the Svend Press. Svend Press. It's spelled very strangely, but this exercise right here is so phenomenal for helping you to isolate the pecs. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put two plates together and I advise that you get some rubber plates. When you do this with just the metal plates, it's extremely difficult to keep them centered. I mean, if you wanna try and increase the intensity, by all means, go ahead. So what you're gonna do is you're just simply going to press away from your body and you're gonna bring the plates back in towards your torso, ensuring that you're keeping your arms parallel to the ground at horizontal right there and you're really focusing on squeezing those plates together as hard as you possibly can. This is what's gonna recruit the maximum amount of pectoral activation. This one right here is super creative and probably one that you've been yet to see. All right, now exercise number two. This exercise is absolutely terrific for allowing you to target the upper pec area. We've got some standing dumbbell chest flies. Now because of the range of motion that your arm is following here, this is what's specifically gonna be able to help you to target the upper pec area. Coming from low and you're coming wide, bringing those dumbbells together at the top and squeezing them there, that's what allows you to target the upper pec muscle fiber. Now what I've done to make this exercise just slightly more gruesome is to add in a slight half of a second isometric hold at the peak of the contraction where I'm squeezing my pectoral muscles as hard as I possibly can, ensuring that you're not doing too much swinging when you're trying to get the weight up there and that you are focusing on strictly using the pecs to lift the dumbbells. All right, exercise number three is an item of my own creation. At least I haven't seen anybody else doing it. We've got some resistance band flies. This kind of substitutes what you might be able to do with the cables. Now, the reason you might want to try this as opposed to just doing the cable flies is because as you bring the hands closer towards the peak of the contraction where they're right close to each other, that's actually going to be the most difficult portion of this exercise. As you see, when you're pulling the arms in closer, the more difficult the exercise gets requiring a whole new level of pectoral muscle fiber recruitment that you've been yet to experience. Ensure that you're doing this with a nice slow tempo and that you're really doing your best to stabilize here. That's another one of those great benefits that comes with this exercise when you do it with the resistance bands. All right, exercise number four, we actually do have some dumbbell flies here and we're gonna be doing them on the floor. So what you want to be doing is milking eccentrics. Don't just drop those. This is really going to be able to be the point of the motion where you're going to tear open and break down the most amount of muscle fiber that you possibly can. Lightly touching the elbows on the floor and when you're bringing those dumbbells up I want you to focus on squeezing with your pectoral muscles. You're not just a lever arm here moving your arm. You're trying to focus on the pec. Squeeze them up at the top. Don't let them slam at the top and bring them right back down. This is still a very great exercise regardless I'm not being able to get as much depth with the bench and actually that is one of the things that makes this exercise pretty safe to do when you're doing it from the floor. All right, fifth and final exercise. This is a variation of the classic. We're going to be doing some resistance band push-ups. Now for the same reason that the resistance band flies was effective, we're going to be flipping the strength curve. So normally when you're doing a push-up, the easiest portion is when you're about to lock out there. But by adding in the band, that's actually going to be one of the more difficult portions. And actually it's going to be getting more increasingly difficult as you're beginning to push yourself up from the floor. This is a great variation and a great method to change up a classic exercise and will have your chest or your pectoral muscles screaming. So there you guys go, five creative chest exercises that you guys can do without a bench. Now hold the phone. If you are interested in these types of videos, then you might also be interested in my 14 week physique sculpting program, link in the description. This program is gonna walk you through my personal step-by-step -step training program that I have personally used for years to build a ton of lean muscle mass and sculpt an incredibly carved, cut, whatever you wanna call it, physique. So if you are interested, Click the link down in the description, and if you enjoyed the video, then also be sure to give your boy a like down below, and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.